Hello and welcome to Yoga and Wellness with Amanda. In today's practice, we are going to be flowing through Sun Salutation A. So we will be up on our feet, doing a little moving around. We're going to flow through our upward dog, our downward dog, and our high and low planks. This is a little bit more of an intense workout type flow, but it really depends on how fast you take the flow. We're going to focus on strong poses and making sure that we're in alignment. We're not going to be rushing through anything, and I think it's going to be a really good workout, but also a really really good time to sink our breath and our body, that movement and that flow of energy all into one little package today. Keep in mind, I am just a guide for your practice. So if at any point we flow through a pose that is maybe outside your comfort level today, I invite you to simply observe this video as a learning tool and flow with what suits you today. Um, always the opportunity to hold downward dog instead of flowing through our high to low plank flow for this video. It's just a modification that you can add in depending on your flexibility and your level of energy today. Today. The goal of flowing through these sun salutations is to invigorate the body, wake us up, and get our blood moving. So I invite you to grab your yoga mat, set up where you have a little bit of space to move around, and join me on the sun salutation yoga flow. All right, let's get started with our sun salutation yoga flow. We're gonna start in a standing position today. So go ahead and find a standing position uh, at the front of your mat, and I'll have you guys face this way. We're going to take a moment to really feel grounded into all four corners of our feet. We're beginning in our mountain pose, and this is a really important pose to set your practice up for success. So we'll stand at the front of our mat, really feel grounded, rooted through all four corners of the feet here. And we're gonna take a few breaths together to kind of sink into our practice and sink our breath with our movement. So to begin, we'll take an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, and on the exhale, bring the heart, uh, hands to heart center. Let out the breath. We'll do two more like this. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to heart. One more. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. And we'll do this one more time. And on this last time, we're gonna come into our forward fold following our arm flow with breath. So take a deep breath in, reach up towards the sky. And on the exhale, hinge at the hips. You can bring the hands down to center. And we're gonna come into our forward fold. Now you can rest the hands on the mat if you'd like, or if they don't quite reach, they can hang out. Even an option to bring the hands to the, uh, to the shins here. And I'm gonna walk us through this flow a little bit slowly for the first time, but we're gonna do it a few times, and we'll speed it up a little time, uh, a little bit each time we flow. So we're in our forward fold. We'll inhale, halfway lift to bring the back nice and flat. Gaze at the mat in front of you. And then exhale, return to your fold. From here, we're gonna come into our downward dog. So plant the hands on the mat, bend the knees as much as you need here, and walk the feet back until we can comfortably find our downward dog. Now in our downward dog, we wanna keep our weight evenly distributed between the hands and the feet. We don't wanna to dump too much weight into the wrists here. So spread the fingers nice and wide and you, our ball mounds of the feet are on the mat. If your heels can reach the mat, that's fantastic. If not, that's perfectly okay. But really press towards the back of the room with the hips and the calves. Being strong in our shoulders, relax the head and neck. Keep breathing deeply. And when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna shift into high plank. So this is kind of like a push-up position. And we really wanna press out through the heels, keep our shoulders in line with our wrists here. Strong, engaged core. And then on an inhale, shift the shoulders forward in front of the wrists, and exhale, lower down chaturanga, or low plank. 
take a breath here, and then we're gonna shift into our upward dog. Deep breath in, bring the chest forward in front of the shoulders, uncurl the toes, and on an exhale, recurl the toes, lift the hips back up into our downward dog. And then slowly walk the feet forward, and we'll come back into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. So that is a preview of our flow. I wanted to talk through it a little bit just so you can kind of get the feel for what we're doing. And then we're gonna flow through this flow together uh, three times. So you're always welcome to stay in downward dog and hold that pose instead of flowing through the push up, the high plank to low plank and taking upward dog if that's not within your flexibility for today. Flowing through downward dog and coming into our folds is still a great practice. So do what suits your body today. Listen to what your body needs and honor that flow. So let's begin. We'll come back to the top of our mat. We'll bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center, fold all the way down. Let out the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to downward dog. Take a few breaths here. And we'll take a breath in as we shift into our high plank. Let it out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, reposition as needed. Taking a breath here in down dog. And on the inhale, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach towards the sky. Hands to heart, exhale. Take a breath here, feel grounded down into the earth. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Breath here. Stay here, our inhale, come into our high plank. Finish our round of breath. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Reposition as needed, take a breath or two here. And on the next inhale, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Release the breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Extended mountain pose. Hands to heart, exhale. Maybe take a breath or two here. Catch your breath if needed. And then we'll flow through our final round of our Sun A. On the next inhale, we'll reach our hands up towards the sky, extended mountain, forward fold, let it out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, walk back to downward dog. Take a breath here. Inhale to high plank. Let out the breath. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, downward or upward dog. We're an upward dog still, hey. And then exhale, downward dog. Stay here for a breath, maybe pedal out the feet a little bit this time. And then when you're ready on the inhale, walk the feet towards the top of the mat, release the breath, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And just take a moment here. I really want you to ground down into your mountain pose here. Feel rooted into all four corners of the feet. And I want you to notice how your body feels. Do you feel warm? Do you feel invigorated? Do you feel tired? What do the feet feel like? What do the hips feel like and the shoulders? Where do you feel the heat in the body? Just take a little bit of an inventory. And then from here, we're gonna take another inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Hands to heart center, exhale. Two more. Inhale, reach up. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. And this time on the exhale, come back into your forward fold, all the way down to the mat here. We're gonna take ragdoll pose. So I like to heel toe my feet a little bit wider, maybe to the outer edges of the mat. And we're gonna bring opposite hand to opposite elbow, let the head hang. You can bend the knees as much as you like, kind of sway side to side. Release the head and neck. We just kind of want to hang out and give our body a moment to settle. Keep breathing. And then we'll find stillness in the poses. Release the hands to the mat. Heel toe the feet back beneath the hips. We're gonna plant the hands and we're gonna come back down to the mat here into our tabletop position. Taking a minute to align ourselves. We want our shoulders over the wrists, knees under the hips, and we're gonna take a few rounds of cat and cow. We're gonna inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze for cow. And on the exhale, release the head Arch the spine for cat pose. We'll do two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And we'll return to our neutral spine. We're gonna come into an easy seated position, so allow the knees to swing around to the side. And coming into our easy seated pose, Sukhasana. Feeling grounded in the hip bones. Feel rooted, connected to the earth. Sit up nice and tall. Take a couple shoulder rolls here. Just releasing a little bit of tension. A couple neck circles. Now that the body is nice and warm, just giving it the opportunity to release a little bit. We'll bring our hands to heart center. We'll inhale together, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. And I want us to take a minute to sit here together just to appreciate the little bit of movement that we just brought into the body. We did a brief practice, we got our blood flowing, and we invited invigorating energy into the body. This is a great way to kickstart your day. If you don't have a whole lot of time to do a workout in the morning, doing a few rounds of sun salutation can brighten your day as we salute the sun and give you a little bit of energy to uh, get through the day. So with that, we completed our sun salutation practice, so fantastic job. If you'd like to close out class with me, we'll go ahead and bring our thumb knuckles to forehead. The beautiful, abundant, brightly shining light in me sees, honors, and respects each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this sun salutation yoga practice. I hope you feel energized and ready to take on the day 
or you have got a little bit of a pick-me-up to get you through the rest of the day. I really appreciate you coming to my channel and viewing this video. If you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you really liked this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to hear from you if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's practice. Drop me a comment below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear, for, uh, hear from you as well. So with that being said, I'll wrap up today's class and I can't wait to see you in the next video.